Now, the Office of the Women Rights Advisor to the President has launched its strategic direction themed accelerating gender parity within institutions. The strategic direction is a roadmap of strategies and initiatives to create safe, equitable, and inclusive environments for women in society. And as Alice Diana now reports, the, the strategic direction is pivotal to the implementation of the bottom-up economic transformation agenda priorities and seeks to promote women's rights as encapsulated in the Women's Charter for the Benefits of Women and Girls. In a bid to and promote and safeguard women and girls' inclusion in Kenya's development processes, their security, safety, and dignity by advocating for their rights in society, the Office of the Women's Rights Advisor to the President has launched a strategic direction that provides a roadmap for the achievement of the objectives and priorities towards the realization of their mandate. Speaking at the launch event, President's Advisor on Women's Rights, Harriet Chigai, stated that issues affecting women and children, which include sexual and gender-based violence and discrimination, are very emotive, and if they are not collectively addressed, the country's economy will forever remain unstable. The question we ask here today is what do we do as a society? Where do we go from here? How do we get our women and children to safe spaces? This is a conversation we need to have, all of us as a community. We need to think about collective, uh, collectively taking action as a society. In addressing the issues mentioned, we have outlined the four strategic pillars that we are putting our weight on. That is women economic empowerment and investments where our banks come in big. Leadership and democratic space where our women leaders have to drive. Social and legal justice where Kenya law reforms is seated here to drive that agenda on our behalf. We also have research. Chigai called on all partners including CEOs, policymakers, development partners and civil society leaders to make a commitment to reaching her target of 8 million women with initiatives that will allow them to thrive and reach their full potential. This is the direction we have chosen to focus on. This is where you need to come in and support us. It is not possible for the government or any one partner to address all these issues. You will agree with me, societal issues abroad, the gender space is huge. Nobody and all of us cannot just sit and say one person can drive the gender agenda. It is not possible. We need to have concerted efforts and support from various partners to consolidate our gains and resources. National Assembly Deputy Speaker Gladys Boscholei, who was also present at the event, emphasized that something needs to be done to address the rising cases of gender-based violence and domestic violence. GBV, I think, Ambassador Monica Juma, you're here. Our weakest link is our police force. They are the most horrible people that you can go to to report domestic violence or gender-based violence. They are our weak link. There's nothing we are doing if we don't take them on. In fact, we don't need them at the police stations. Take them to the hospitals. That's where we rush the girls and the women. Then they can take the OB from there. But when you go there, the women are embarrassed. It's, it's like you're stripped naked and raped all over again when you go to the police stations. So as long as you have the gender police officers in the police stations, you're doing nothing. So that must first change. It's the simplest thing. On her part, Senior Advisor to the President and Chair of the Security Council, Ambassador Monica Juma, noted that mentorship programs are useful in accelerating gender parity. The technological advancement, I mean, the cyber space has become one of the most horrendous space for the abuse of women, you know. And because we are running behind it in terms of policy and regulation, it is something we must pay attention. And because industry and the private sector is ahead in terms of this area, it is important that we pay attention to an area that is supposed to be enabling, but that has equal measure of abuse and violence against women and the girls and children, so to speak. Alice Diana Hope, TV News Watch.